Consider the proposition. The Royal Thai Police are to Thailand what Hamas is to Gaza. Now I know what different groups of you will be thinking. One group will argue that Hamas are legitimate freedom fighters, whereas the Royal Thai Police personify corruption on steroids. A second group will claim that the Thai Police serve and protect, while Hamas is a terrorist organization. However, they both capture and hold innocent hostages, which reflects disastrously upon the reputations of Thailand and the people of Gaza. In a moment, I'll suggest actions that viewers can take that might help secure the release of some of the Thai and Burmese hostages. Welcome to the channel, everyone. At the outbreak of the current war between Hamas and Israel, about 25% of the innocent hostages abducted by Hamas were innocent migrant workers from Thailand. Hamas forced these migrant workers into Gaza, a narrow strip of land often referred to as the world's largest prison, with a population of 2.3 million. It's a place that witnesses the death, injury and suffering of countless innocent souls. There's an iconic scene from the TV series MASH following a comment from Major Frank Burns who said, Everybody knows war is hell. Viewers then saw this exchange between Captain Hawkeye and Father Mulcahy. Oh, everybody knows war is hell. Remember, you heard it here last. War isn't hell. War is war and hell is hell. And of the two, war is a lot worse. How do you figure that, Hawkeye? Easy, Father. Tell me. Who goes to hell? Well, sinners, I believe. Exactly. There are no innocent bystanders in hell. But war is chock full of them. Little kids, cripples, old ladies. In fact, except for a few of the brass, almost everybody involved is an innocent bystander. Thailand and Gaza both desperately need some good publicity and good public relations. Thailand has been scrambling through various diplomatic channels to help its citizens in Gaza. I suggest that it just might help Thailand's credibility and prospects enormously if King Maha Vajiralongkorn were to grant full royal pardons to the Burmese migrant workers who were framed for the murders of two UK backpackers in order to shift attention away from the true Thai killers on the island of Koh Tao. I suggest that having one of the main original Thai suspects attend a Buddhist temple for a short period won't atone for anything. The 300 million Thai baht that the then police chief received in secret payments in 2014-2015 is also exceptionally unhelpful. Acts of mercy towards the Burmese scapegoats might create karma to help the Thai hostages. At the very least, it would set an appropriate example for Hamas and the Gaza residents they represent. Viewers can contact the Thai Prime Minister, the Thai Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Thai Members of Parliament with suggestions to present to the Thai Palace. Thank you for your time and attention.